So, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video here on the Monkey Games A Lot channel. I am your host, Monkey Master, and as you can see, I am here giving you another video in our Monkey Land series. So, if you remember in the last episode, I made the announcement about new series that are going to be coming to the channel. Um, but they're not coming yet. It's Sunday today, which is one of the days I upload Monkey Land. Well, on the day I'm uploading it. Um, you're hearing this, it's Sunday. But actually, it's Saturday when I'm recording it. So, either way, um, it's Sunday, um, which is one of the days I upload Monkey Land. So, that means, surprise, surprise, I'm uploading Monkey Land. Um, tomorrow, I'll upload the first episode in one of my new series. So, obviously, stay tuned for that. But today, what I'm going to try and be doing is finishing off this, um, this, the floor. The floor in my bedroom. Probably won't be able to, um, because it's taken a little while to get all the wool and everything for it. So, I might not get around to doing that. Um, but if I can get the floor done, it means I can start decorating it. So, I'd very much like, like that to happen. Um, but obviously, as I said, it's quite a long-winded process getting all the wool for this and everything. So, as you can see, I've done all the windows. I mean, I did that in the last episode. And what I'm going to be doing out here is I'm going to be having, like, a balcony. Um, a bit of a balcony that goes out. Um, and then underneath that balcony, there will be the entrance. So the entrance, I'm thinking... The balcony will come out a bit, the entrance will come out like a couple of blocks more than the balcony and then after that all the house will kind of go forward and kind of out a bit and like in one direction, another direction. I don't want it to be like a big block or anything because that doesn't look particularly nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, in fact I'm going to take this crafting table and this furnace into my bedroom with me because it's just sat down here all alone and I don't think it likes being all alone um, I'm gonna have a quick nap quick nap there we go and then I'm gonna place these down probably won't be the permanent place well change that it definitely won't be the permanent place for them um, I'm gonna place this crafting table down first because I need to craft another chest um, if you remember I crafted one that I'm putting all my wool in um, but I need another one, um, just to, just one that I can like empty my inventory out into. So, oh, this was good just like emptying it all out. Not cluttered up with anything anymore. Oh, need that. Um, so there we go. What, else? what do I need out of this? I could do with that and that. Um, but I think that should be everything I need right now. So... I'm going to go down this lovely ladder, shear some sheep again, oh, shear some of these sheepies again, boop, boop, um, boop, as well as breeding the sheepies again, so one, two, three, four, um, I'll need one more piece of wool, so I'll just go get that. No, not one more piece of wool. One more piece of wheat. Um, so I'll just go grab that. Just because there's no point, like, um, giving one wheat and not giving the other wheat. Because it means I'm not getting baby sheep from it. I need the baby sheep because that gives me more wool. And the more wool I have means the... Well, the more sheep I have means the more wool I get. The more wool I get means um, the easier it's going to be to finish my carpet. Um... If I finish it quicker, it means I can start doing something else quicker. So, see, all of this adds up. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest these crops. So, I did say in a previous episode of Monkey Land that I am soon going to be starting. Um, well, after my house, maybe not all the house, but probably like a lot of it, like to the point of nearly finishing it. I'm going to be starting work on my big farm i'm thinking of like making this first house that i've got like a farmhouse where i can keep like all sorts of farmy things like um what would what what would you say things like um seeds and um things to breed the animals with and just like chests full of stuff i want i think it'd be nice if i made like an automatic farm 
because those are always always nice. I think I'll just sort of replant that with beetroot seeds. Can't be bothered to <laughs> cycle all the way through to my um, wheat seeds. That's the one. Yes, beep beep. Anyway, um, just jumping back over the hills to um, my f floating blob in the sky. Um, yes, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to build my roof out of. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, I build up another layer of birch and on that layer of birch I'll have the have the roof. I'm thinking of making it like out of smooth stone or something. Well, it's not called smooth stone, you know, the normal stone if you um the stone you mine up to get cobblestone and like um that type of stone. So yes. Um let's breed some more sheepy sheeps. Let's breed you oh you 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 you, you, oh there we go, there's one, and you, you, there we go, uh, what, co what colour sheep, I keep getting little baby blue sheeps, don't want the little baby blue sheeps, want like dark blue or cyan or something, because I've got lots of blue wool, but not much of the other types of wool, anyway, oh okay, we've actually got quite a lot of the different types of wool, so we've got light blue wool there, and the cyan wool there, Actually, we've only got like two pieces of the sand wall, but still, we've got lots of the light blue and the normal blue wool, so it's a bit messy in here, isn't it? Um, right, I place this on the acacia, so I'm not actually going to place any on the on the dirt, um, because it just seems like a waste of, waste of wool, it's never going to be seen anyway, so might as well not, not do anything with it. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is break that way and this. What I'm going to do is just kind of like um, make a row here of all the different colours like where I need to put them. Obviously this one needs to go there. Um, on the on the oak, what colour is it on there? I think it's the light blue. No, it's not. It's the cyan on the oak. Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do? This is so I can like break away all this oak and stuff because it's a bit ugly. Um, and then the light blue goes there. Yes. So I want to um, get my axe out. It's step number one: get the axe out. So um, you put blue wool there, and obviously on all the other blocks, it's already marked out. Um, dud. no, break it away, please. Um, let's keep breaking this away. And I'll just put some blue wool there. Um, I'll also put a bit of blue wool there. Some cyan wool there. And let's put some light blue wool there. And a little bit there. So there we go, that is the newest update on the carpet. Let us see if we can get a little bit more blue wool before we finish the episode. Apparently it will only be dark blue wool because that is the only type of sheep that wants to regrow its wool. Oh, more dark blue wool, there we go. And even more dark blue wool, oh gosh. These sheep are like constantly being shin and everything, it's just like ah! And only the, so they've got no wool on them, and it's only the dark blue wool ones that want to grow their wool back, which is good. Because like the dark blue, I think takes up the most room, like well, like, at least more than the most rows of dark blue wool. So, um, there we go. I really need some cyan because I need cyan there and there. And there, the thing there are there are like five rows of cyan. I'm hardly getting any cyan at the moment. But um, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is shearing more sheep, building, building, starting to build the roof, or at least gathering materials to build the roof out of. But that is for the next episode, because we have unfortunately run out of time for this episode. 
So if you've enjoyed this episode, check the li- check the link in the description because it will take you straight to the next one, um, which I hope you will enjoy as much as this one because.